know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder One, two, one, two. Come in, Jayla. Can you hear me? Oh, hi, friends. It's Zoe. Do you know what this is? I'll give you a hint. If I hold this button down and I talk into it, hi, Jayla, and I wait, I can hear my friend talk back. Hello, Zoe. That's right. This is a walkie-talkie. My friends and I have been going everywhere with our little red wagon. So I decided to put the walkie-talkie in the Little Red Wagon so I could talk to my friends everywhere I go. I went to the mailbox with my Little Red Wagon and I told my friends about the coolest postcard I got in the mail. This postcard is all the way from Hawaii. Wow! I went to the playground with my Little Red Wagon and I told my friends about the best bubble that I made. And guess what? These are the best bubbles ever! So cool! I went to the garden with my little red wagon and I told my friends about the prettiest flowers that I saw. Guess what? There are red flowers and yellow flowers and purple flowers and blue flowers and pink flowers. That's awesome! It has been so much fun talking to my friends wherever I go with this little red wagon. Ho, ho. It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Who are you talking to? Hi, Ollie. I'm using this walkie-talkie to talk to my friends. Talking to friends is a fun thing to do. I know someone special you can talk about. Who? Who? Listen up. Just follow me through. Follow me through. Follow me through. Stormy Jane, where'd you go? I told you I had new treats, girl. Oh, hey friends, I'm Carrie the dog walker and uh, <laughs> there she is. And this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Stormy Jane, you told your friends about the new treats, didn't you? <laughs> yes, you did. Okay, treats for everyone. <laughs> I understand, Stormy. When you know about something good, you wanna tell your friends, right? Which reminds me of today's story. Are you ready to hear it? <laughs> Sounds like we're ready. This true story from the Bible is about a man named Jeremiah. Jeremiah was a prophet. That means his job was to talk about God to others. One day, God gave Jeremiah a very special message to give to the people. Let's pretend we are Jeremiah and we are giving the people a very special message from God. We can use pretend megaphones to do it. Just hold your hands like this and say what I say. I have a message, ready? I have a message. Very good. Jeremiah talked about God with others and said, God has plans for you and God will always love you. Let's talk about God and say what Jeremiah said. Let's say, God has plans for you. Ready, say it with me. God has plans for you. Good, let's say, and God will always love you. Ready? And God will always love you. We did it. And we can keep doing it because we can talk about God with others just like Jeremiah did. We can talk about God to others and tell them that God loves them and God has plans for them. We can talk about God with our friends and our neighbors and the person at the grocery store and our teachers and all our family too, because God loves everyone. That means God loves you and God loves me. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. 
So there's your story, and it's all true. Jeremiah talked about God, and you can talk about God too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, Jeremiah talked about God to others, and we can too. I think I've got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. You know, I can use these walkie-talkies to talk to my friends about God and tell them that God loves them. I'll see you next time. Bye. I will always love you. Jeremiah 31 3. I will always love you. Jeremiah 31 3.